The Weekly starts now. Today I'll be speaking with Kevin Kittleson, Vice President of DJK Custom Homes, about his LEED Platinum Certified Home in Naperville, Illinois. So just to start, I was hoping you could give us a brief background on DJK Custom Homes. So DJK Custom Homes, it's a family business. Uh, my dad started the company in 1988 and Right now, we're about 12 people in our office. I uh, have a real big focus, too, on kind of the healthy home aspect, indoor air quality, energy efficiency, all those good things that uh, everyone th- seems to care about, you know, aside from just the, you know, the quartz countertops or what you can see on the surface. Could you provide us with an overview about your LEED Platinum Certified Model Home in Naperville and maybe tell us any of those standout healthy features? Our Naperville Model Home is kind of our flagship model home. It's centrally located, um, you know, within walking distance, all the restaurants, uh, you know, amenities, Riverwalk, everything that Naperville has to offer. So as far as the LEED aspect, you know, it, it starts there. Um, one of the primary things of LEED is transportation and kind of, you know, limiting the use of, of cars and you know, transportation like that, making things more walkable. Um, So that was a a key reason why we chose the location. Um, So moving on from transportation, I think, you know, everything else that winds up in the home from energy efficiency, water efficiency, indoor air quality, and, you know, even from the materials that we're using in the home, the materials we're sourcing for the priming of the home, for the exterior facade, um, kind of always thinking ahead and and kind of making considerations for those to fit within our whole uh, you know, grand scheme of things and meeting the LEED Platinum certification on the home. On the exterior home is really a blend of hardy board, um, metal siding, and then also Montana Ghostwood siding, which is a sustainably sourced wood product that's mainly from existing standing dead trees. And then a circle sawn to give that, you know, kind of rustic effect. Um, and then we, we custom stained all that, all that wood on site. But then the actual envelope of the home Every home we build, we always do rigid foam insulation on the exterior. Um, we did a two by four wall system in the home. Uh, I should say a blend of two by four and two by six. So we have an R5 insulation on the exterior and then we did a flash foam with closed cell foam um, on the whole home before we then insulate it with uh, blown in cellulose and then obviously the drywall. And then we use uh, a product by Knopf that's called Eco Seal throughout the home as well at the bottom plate to floor double top plate um, where there's gaps in the in the sheeting on the exterior of the home this home in particular with the solar array on the home got a her score of five this is what we like to refer to as our wine down room Uh, you'll see we have the decor wine taps and wine refrigerators right there this is you know different from your typical, you know, dining room and study that you might find in an older home. And we've really used this space to you know, create a home that, or create an area within the home that not many homes have. That's kind of a, a wow factor when people walk in and yeah. So that front door you're seeing, that's, you know, that's a Glenview door. Um, it's a custom door company that we work with do really nice front entry doors. So here you're going to be looking at kind of, you know, the open floor plan concept we go on, we have going on inside the home. You'll notice kind of that industrial inspired theme with the with the exposed steel beams in the ceiling. Wow. And like when all the lights are off, that that whole sink actually glows. It's a, it was custom fabricated. Yeah, we're always custom fabricating different things and and kind of putting a you know personalized spin in each home we build. So uh, all the appliances that we supplied in the model were all supplied by Decor. So everyone is still looking for that you know nice massive cooking space, nice massive range, kind of a statement range, statement hood. Um, all the countertops throughout the home are quartz as well. If you'll see, you know, we used a mix of, of painted cabinets and stained cabinets. We did a one door style along the perimeter with a flat panel inset door style on the island to kind of switch things up a little bit, get that modern, modern industrial feel going with the black hardware as well. And you might see that space behind the refrigerator. The fr- refrigerator is concealed behind those uh, those knotty alder doors there, but on that wall, what you're seeing there behind the refrigerator is what we like to refer to as our planning center, kind of a, a space to do daily bills, you know, hide your hide the clutter away from, you know, the main area of your house. And on that wall, you'll notice that's all reclaimed Chicago common brick off the old house that was that was uh, on the property prior to our construction. So I always try to find items that are not only sustainable, but that also tell a story. So also what you can't see here, but behind the wall is an important piece of, of where we start with, you know, sustainable sourcing, um, using all SFI certified lumber um, where we can when building 
And then down to, you know, the, the reclaimed wood that we're using over that, that what we call our casual dining space to kind of, you know, bring the, all those different tones together. This is the mud room of the homes, kind of your, your everyday interest, if you, if you would call it that. A kind of an interesting feature that you see in here that, you, that I'd like to point out is there under the cabinet, we did a built-in dog cage. So you'll see that's also a dog wash sink as well, if you have, you know, maybe a small to medium-sized dog. One thing that you'll see here, that's a, actually a hidden door that goes, that goes to basically a mud room closet, nice walk-in closet in the mud room. Uh, we do that a lot in, in our homes and you know, we're used to it, but it still wows everyone when they walk in and see it. This area is actually the rooftop, what we call party deck, which is built above the three car garage. Got a small indoor area there with a garage door, opens up to, you know, a little bar space, some seating, nice space, you're, you're way above everything. So that's the main entry to the master. And then that barn door is gonna be your entry to the master bath. And then outside that, the double, the single hung window that you see there, that is kind of a, like a little coffee deck and there's a, a pellet door right around the corner that takes you out there. Yeah, so that that's the master bath and master closet. You'll see obviously freestanding tub with the, you know, quartz around around that whole area. That's, that's kind of popular. Yeah, so there's the master closet with all our um, custom built laminate shelving inside there and then the quartz countertop. That door that you see in the master closet, that then brings you to the office space. So it's kind of a hidden hidden little corridor that we created to take you from the master to the office space, which could also take you to the garage as well. Pretty simple, but nice usable laundry space, nice folding area. We, we do get a lot of people requesting second floor laundry rooms, probably three quarters of the home. So we, we do, we do the laundry room on the, on the same floor as the bedrooms. So in the basement, when we, you know, started planning out things, we, Kind of wanted to go after that speakeasy thing. You'll see it kind of with the velour couches. Um, use of use of different metals like that fireplace wall. That's all hot rolled raw steel. Those beams, they're all the structural beams, but we actually had our our painter kind of faux finish them and make them look. They look just like beams out of probably a you know hundred year old structure. They look amazing. But um, got the shuffleboard table, concrete look flooring. Um, little, you know, bringing in again, bringing in those different materials, a mix of stone, steel, you know, dark colors. Um, we always like to kind of create a unique space under the stairs. Um, here we got a little reading nook. You'll see that that custom, you know, comfortable bench that we put right under the stairs. So you can kind of sit in there. It's got a, a reading light, sit in there, you know, read a book. And then underneath the stairs, we created a, a kind of little kids' hangout space. In our model, we use it as we call it the eco smart lab so it's kind of place for kids to learn about recycling got some fun games in there and that's that's kind of our bar space we did again tied in some you know custom fabricated metal you'll see with that hanging shelf there we did the uh the rusted metal curve around the bar and then the bar taps built into the wall and we used um galvanized piping to make the bar taps so kind of creating that industrial look right around the corner we have the wine room and then towards the front of the house we we have a storm shelter as well that seems to be a feature that everyone everyone digs um yeah so kind of some of the other things that bring the house together obviously we just went over a lot of the aesthetics and a lot of the different materials we use and one of the things that i mentioned that kind of plays into the whole lead aspect is obviously water efficiency um so everywhere from our toilets um, using dual flush toilets throughout using water efficiency uh, you know um water sense certified faucets throughout, um, you know, low flow faucets and down to our shower heads, all supplied by Delta. So they all have the Delta H2O kinetic technology that basically, you know, creates a more voluminous feel, but while still, you know, conserving water. Um, we touched on the indoor air quality aspect. Obviously the big thing with indoor air quality is, you know, using those no VOC paints and finishes, really paying attention to the, to the products you're putting in the home and the contaminants you might be bringing in the home, um, you know, super insulating the home and then, uh, then still providing fresh air to the home um, and in controlled means by, by the use of our ERV system that we put in every home we build. Um, energy efficiency kind of touched on that. We have a um, sun power solar system on the home. So that is all net metered with the city. So we're tied into the grid. So yeah, the energy efficiency, indoor air quality, you know, location, selection of the materials, um, 
water efficiency, really focusing on that. That's kind of what brings it all together to allow us, you know, to get the home to the LEED Platinum certification that we obtained. Every home we do is always Energy Star certified. It's always Indoor Air Plus certified. So most of the stuff we're putting in the homes we're doing as a standard and, and, and we're putting into every home we build. But when we decide to do a LEED project, we really go one step above and we really critique every area to make sure, you know, no one area is going to throw us off of, you know, kind of our overall project goals and, and to make it all come together.